No, I like Baba, you know. Um, Ma is still recovering from his toe with the last... So con- we've seen that uh, Baba's been getting runs, but Peshawar can't get that W. And uh, today, Amir Jamal came out to bat at 7. Do you think that batting depth may be an area of concern for Peshawar moving forward? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Um, normally on good pitches, when the pitches are good, you need better bowling. So when you... PSL over the last two years have been the highest scoring uh, league in terms of runs. So it says the pitches there are normally good, batters dominate. So if you got six specialist batters and a wrong rounder coming at seven, ideally that's what you want. So I don't think we're short on batting. We just didn't bat well today. You know, it's good. Baba continues to do what he, he's been doing. You know, congrats to him. Fastest to 10,000 to 20 runs. Um, we just have to be more responsible as a, as a group, as a batting group. Uh, Darren, it seems uh, not Peshawar, Zelmi and Karachi Kings. It seems like Baba Razan versus Karachi Kings. Do you think uh, your batting or bowling who let you down? Uh, 154 is not enough to defend ball for bowlers, I think. I think obviously on that wicket, the pass score was about, I would say, one, 180, 175, 180 would have been par. You know, the stats tell you if you get three, if you lose three wickets in the power play, you lose 60% of the time. But I fought halfway in the batting inning, you know, 83, I think it was for, for free with a partnership building with Baba and, and Rothman. I thought we, we got ourselves to a really uh, good position on that, on that surface. Uh, having said that, over the last two games, watching our batting overs number, if my memory saves me right, 11 to 15, uh, both times we've scored only 38 runs during that period, whereas the opposition both times had scored 56 runs. Uh, between overs 11 to 15. So, again, it's little moments of the game that could affect the entire uh, situation, you know. And um, for us, one of my big things in the dressing room is being aware of, of the game situation and making and taking decisions that affect us in the positive way. And today we didn't do that. Uh, Darren, uh, today uh, Peshawar Zalmi didn't play well and the fighting spirits were totally absent in, the, in your position, in your uh, performance. What did you think, what was the problem that you didn't play well today as it was expecting that uh, the, the performance will be up to the mark? <laughs> if I understand what you're asking me. Um, look, I've been with this franchise for nine years, you know, so it's not how you start, it's how you finish, you know. Um, people say we've been the most consistent team. I mean, we still trying to find the right combination um, moving forward. Um, and we need to win at least five or six games to get to the playoffs. You know, um, we won't let these first two games determine how our season goes. You know, um, I have full confidence in the, in the guys that's, that are in the dressing room. And um, we've got eight more games to go in the wrong matches. Come on the 17th, hopefully you're talking to me after the match. Hello, Darren. This is Amir Hamza from Zalmi TV. Yeah. So uh, do you think middle order needs to be reconsidered, reshuffled, or maybe replanned? <sighs> oh, look, you got experience with Baba, Sam, I think last PSL they were the best opening combination. Um, again, first game they started really well. Um, power play, we've, we've been up there. Um, top two teams between last year and, and this year in the, in the power play. Again, uh, Harris has not scored runs and Tom has not scored runs, so I'm not a coach that pressed the panic button. You know, like I said earlier, we have enough in the dressing room. At the end of the day, is what you do on the cricket field. So, first two games, 
we will review and when we come up against um, Moulton in, in a couple of days, uh, we will put our best combination that we think that will help us um, get that first victory in 2024. Darren, uh, when Shamar Joseph will be av available? Uh, Shamar is still recovering from his toe. With the last conversation I had, uh, he did his, um, his update, his report, uh, I think two days ago. There's still some, some soreness. Um, the nail is growing back on the toe, so um, advice from, from the doctors and the physio, um, he need more time. So hopefully for us, for me, you know, sooner than, than later. Last question. Uh, Sammy, uh, Babar is doing well uh, with the bat. We see his uh, both uh, innings, uh, he did 50s as well. But when we talk about his captaincy, do you think uh, he is getting under pressure a little bit? No, I like Babar, you know. And my job here is to make him as, as a good captain as he could be, you know. We've developed a really good relationship. Um, obviously, my experience captaining, I think it will also uh, benefit him, but he's our, he's our captain, you know, and uh, no better way than leading than performance. And he keeps on doing that and inspiring his men. So, again, first two games, I won't let any of those things dampen, you know, and, and Pishar's Army in nine years has not been a team to lay blame anywhere. We win together, we lose together, we come back stronger the following day.